everybody in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to provide feedback to ChatGPT alright so whether you want to provide negative or positive feedback to ChatGPT both make sense because if you provide positive or negative feedback to the ChatGPT it helps them to train their models even more so there is a higher chance that next time you will get a good output from ChatGPT and if you want to provide feedback to ChatGPT, all you have to do is open up uh, ChatGPT conversation where you want to provide feedback and where you have started your ChatGPT prompt in the beginning of a ChatGPT output. So as you can see, this was the prompt and this is the output. You can see this dislike and like button. And if you want to provide positive feedback, all you have to do is click on the like button here. And as you can see here, you can add your positive feedback here and just click on submit feedback. As you can see, once you have liked a, a ChatGPT output, you cannot dislike it. But let's say you do not like this output and you want to send a negative feedback to ChatGPT. As you can see, if you click on the dislike button here, you can add why you think this ChatGPT output should be improved. Add something here. And then you can also add why you think this chat GPT output was bad. You can also add what was negative. You can add this is this was a harmful or unsafe response from chat GPT. This wasn't an accurate response. So this is not true from chat GPT and this isn't helpful from chat GPT. Keep in mind that this is just a language model. So there's no chance it always spits out factual information. So it doesn't really make sense to send negative feedback if you do not get factual information back. But if you get some kind of unsafe or harmful response from ChatGPT, you can click here and submit the feedback. So this is how to provide feedback to ChatGPT.